Well, here we are in Brisbane, and um, I'm going to do a big brake kit on my BMW E46 coupe. And um, let's see how she works out. This is this is what we've got at the moment. Basically, the standard brake package, but with DBA heat treated sport drilled and slotted rotors. That's on the front and the rear. If I can get down between the car and the bike is the rear again dead stock standard but drilled and slotted sport rated heat treated dbas what it's going to get is the csl motorsport package which includes the four piston brembo calipers off of the uh, porsche boxster so um let's see how we go I'll try and do a step by step. Well, we've got the wheel off and we've got it supported from a stand. So, what we need to do now is remove obviously the caliper first, then the rotor. Caliper is removed via removing these bolts at the back. Obviously, I've got to remove the um, air ducting. We're going to leave everything else connected because I'm going to hang that out of the way while I'm doing it and to get the rotor off it's a matter of undoing this allen key just to give you an idea on the difference in the sizes here is the old rotor sitting on top of the new rotor bit of difference what would you rather use to stop your vehicle. There's our mount using the original mounting bolts that the original caliper was mounted on. Yes, the original ca caliper is hanging from the um, brake line, which is normally an absolute no-no but in this instance it doesn't matter because it's getting um, stainless braided lines and the coupling is different into the Brembo caliper so they're new lines anyway so there we go these mounts are from Rally Off-Road in the US um, the rotors are from ECS in the US um, as you can see the rotor excuse the truck going by um, the calipers are from a wrecker I've got down in Adelaide so that's pretty good and the brake lines are also from Rally Road where I got both front and rear um, mounts so let's see how we go As the um, lighting wasn't real good on the other side I'm filming this side as well this is the standard brakes that are on this E46 BMW um, different rotors but the pads and um, calipers are basically standard um, the rotors are DBA drilled and slotted heat treated for um, sport package uh, we're going to upgrade that to a um, big brake package from um, ECS and um, some Brembo uh, pads and four piston calipers off of a Porsche uh, 996 Boxster with some uh, radial mounting adapter brackets from Rally Road in the US. So um, let's see how we go. Okay, I've got the uh, I got the wheel off. What we need to do now: remove the caliper, 
and the caliper is removed by these two 16 millimeter bolts this one here and this one here so we'll remove those two then to take the rotor off we just put an allen key in here that screw should come out okay if not hit it with a um, impact driver and that will come out caliper off this off I've already taken the air ducting off to the brakes let's see how we go okay now we've got the uh, caliper and the the rotor off what we need to do see how this one here is a nice curve this one here has two corners on it we need to remove this corner turn it into a curve because this here is the mounting bracket or the radial mounting bracket for the four piston Brembo's and it will go on here using the same bolts that the original caliper used but we need to take off this corner so let's hit it with a grinder and uh, see how we go okay now we've um, taken these corners off uh, you shouldn't have to touch this one this one should fit all right you might have to just take a skim off it that's about it but normally you don't need to touch that one and just so you know when you're undoing these eff and tight have fun um, let's put this mounting bracket on okay we've now got this fitted in this instance I did need to take a little bit of a skim off the edge of that bottom bracket I didn't have to on the passenger side but this one needed about half a mil off if you get any resistance while screwing these original bolts back in take them off just take a lip off of this bottom one and she'll screw in fine all right clean this up with a wire brush to make sure you get a nice smooth surface for the new rotor to sit on tighten this up to the specified torque and uh, we're getting there okay now we've got everything torqued down we're just about ready to roll but your um, heat shield for your rotor is protecting your idler knuckle on the other side you just need to bend this lip there's a little lip there and you just need to bend that lip back the opposite direction um, otherwise that may scrape on your brand new rotor but apart from that we're just about ready to roll okay these are the rotors that I'm using on the front as you can see E46 M3 ZCP slash CSL E85 Z4 MECS they are a rather huge rotor um, might have ECS written on it but I got it from Turner Motorsport owned by the same company Turner Motorsport much easier to deal with however don't try and I mean this don't try and have them sent to Australia because they're just a, it's not Turner it's the supplier they are just a pain in the bot bot uh, I ended up having to get an American address have it shipped to the American address for free because it was over I think $400 um, and then have them shipped out to the land of Oz also I could put it on that and sorry about the mess but you know hey I'm working on it so let's open this box 355 millimeter drilled and slotted two-piece two-piece ECS tuning rotor it is a rather large piece of equipment so um, this should bring me to a stop um, just to get the part number off the hat that's what's going on that's what um, that's what the rotor looks like fitted up as you can see we've got the one screw in there the M3 actually has two retaining screws but um, the standard E46 only has the one um, brackets ready to roll 
I've got the Brembo four piston calipers in the backyard hanging up drying. They're painted, Brembo stickers on them. I've just finished the clear coat. So in a couple of days after that is hard set, we'll fit these. What is it, Wednesday afternoon? So might fit them on Sunday. We'll see how we go. Okay, we've, um, we're getting close. We've uh, mounted in, or should I say, I've reconnected in the uh, air duct to the bottom mounting bracket. We've mounted the caliper, we've installed the pads, we've put in the retaining rattle clip with the retaining pin and the uh, split pin to hold that in place. Now we're going to be removing our little bung and putting in our brake line, which will be coming back across to here. And then I can drop the old caliper off um, all in one swift motion. Okay, we've now got in the brake line. We've uh, used a bit of CRC just to pop it into this this holding bracket. Um, spin the wheel around a bit. So we've got our brake line in. Bit dusty but everything's got to be washed yet anyway um, we're just about ready to roll and um, let's see how we roll on this so everything's a bit grungy got dirty fingerprints over everything it's hard to tell that this is chrome I've chromed this so that it doesn't get scratched so uh, let's bleed them up Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the rears. Oops, tripping over tools. This is what she looks like right now. We're going to do the uh, upgrade of the rear brakes. Um, it's meant to be a little bit more difficult, but um, we'll see how we go. If it doesn't work, it's all your fault. No, just jokes. Now we've got the wheel off. Well. Um, endeavor to um, take this poor thing off and we'll go from there so basically we're going to have the two bolts one down in here I don't know if you can see that there's another one at the bottom we'll disconnect the um, the uh, pad wear limiter and um, we'll pop the caliper off then we need to undo this screw here and that will that should release that if it doesn't um, we'll back the handbrake off which should allow the uh, the uh, cap to come off now we've got the caliper off as I said undo this bolt and this bolt um, typical BMW 16 millimeter not 17 or 19 but 16 um, got the rotor off handbrake mechanism more than likely we are going to have to trim this shield not mentioned in any of the um, literature but more than likely that's what we're going to have to do uh, significantly larger so yes what more can we do all right Let's see if we can fit this up and see what we need to modify and change. Okay, now we're about to mount this bracket on. That is the adapter plate to go from side mount to radial mount. But to do that, we need to trim the dust shield on both sides. And also, we'll need to trim right around this edge to get rid of that otherwise it overlaps the rotor and um, let's get to it at the moment the caliper is still hanging off but um, everything's all cleaned up ready to roll but uh, trim through here trim through here trim around here just with a grinder okay now we've trimmed these corners off to allow enough room for the caliper itself we've trimmed the lip off 
which was whoops, I can get it back in the right position which was here um, I'm now going to mask it all up give it a lick of black paint just to make it look tidy and uh, so she doesn't rust and we'll continue on so all I was using was a, um, a cutting disc on my grinder plunge cutting and then basically filed it all all the burrs off so it's no sharp edges don't want sharp edges so yep we'll keep going now we've trimmed it all that all up we've painted it I've used black satin paint so hides a few of the imperfections but um, I think it should do we even painted up inside the guard here so um, makes it look a little bit better now we can put these brackets back on and see how the um, see how the caliper fits now we've got this bracket on bolts are tight obviously in from the other side you use the original bolts that um, your old caliper was held on with now we can mount the new caliper let's see how we go as you can see caliper is nice and pretty um, don't use high temperature stickers they don't work in the process of baking the uh, high temperature paint on when you bake it in the oven at 100 degrees for an hour the high temperature decals go orange well they change color mine were yellow they went orange so these are the rears I've got to fix the fronts these are the rears this time I used a stencil painted it with high temperature yellow let that go off gave it a quick sand and then I've cleared over the top of the whole thing so um, I think she's come up pretty good um, so we've got our bracket our caliper we're waiting on our rotor um, I must apologize for the capabilities of Americans they can't follow instructions they don't understand what uh, the difference between 180 millimeters and 160 millimeters is but you know they are American so you, you, you got to give them a break um, not particularly bright they voted voted for Trump and again we're not particularly bright we voted for Tony Abbott and Malcolm Turnbull so you know we're all pretty dopey um, anyway we're waiting on the rotors because the rotors have arrived even though they were custom made the Americans have made the handbrake hat 180 millimeters whereas I specified 160 so they're actually out being sleeved by an Australian company. They should be ready tomorrow morning. They're putting a 10 millimeter sleeve in as a, a slight resistance press fit. And then they're going to put in some eight millimeter grub screws around the outside to, um, to seal the gap. So we've got the, the, um, the dust cover painted and trimmed. We've got our caliper on. It's starting to get there. Due to the poor quality of R1 concepts in California, USA, we've basically had to take all of the paint off. Now they're supposed to be um, black electroplated. Bullshit. It was very, very cheap black paint. In fact, you could scratch it off with your fingers. And then the process of repainting this and baking it in the oven, all the paint that was in the grooves has actually fallen out. That's how good their paint was. But the surface is meant to be double ground. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is not ground at all. That's just a machine finish. So they're full of shit. But um, they're also meant to be custom made in the USA. And um, if I scroll it around, it's, it's hard to see, but right here it says made in Italy. So as far as being made in the US is concerned, and custom made in the US, double ground in the US, electroplated in the US, it's all shit. So don't trust them. This is what we've had to do to correct their other stuff up, because they made it 180 mil rather than 160 mil. We've made a, uh, a ring, slight interference fit, pressed it in, and then located it in with four grub screws that go the full width of the handbrake or emergency hat. I haven't repainted this stuff on the inside and as you can see it just scratches off. 
it's just really really cheap nasty paint like this is just the nasty paint here whereas what I've done is I've taken all their paint off and painted with high temperature paint on the edges and the hat and the surface so it'll make it look pretty but um, don't trust R1 concepts out of California they're full of shit now we've got the rotor on with the retaining bolt um, yes I painted that as well so we've got the, the, the rotor on the handbrake has been adjusted so that she starts to bite after two clicks we've got the caliper on we've got our pad retention plate being chrome plated the pin chrome plated just so that it stays nice and pretty for a longer period of time now we're going to put in the brake line and um, remove the old one and let's see how we go hey um, I don't think I've mentioned it yet the brake lines themselves are uh, braided stainless they were supplied by Rally Road in the US uh, along with the brackets um, all I can say is the brackets and these brake lines are absolutely perfect definitely recommend Rally Road um, it's got the BMW section on one end the, the uh, Brembo section on the other end all the couplings the joiners the retainers everything is perfect the length is perfect I can't recommend Rally Road enough um, really really good work um, everything they said they would do they have done you can get them in other than blue but blues what he has in stock so I went why not blue hey the cars blue so definitely recommend rally road in the US they're up near Chicago somewhere I believe but as I live in the land of Oz either way it's a long way away